How will the weather affect the high intensity of matches? Our reporter Daniel Kahn put himself to the test to find out. Before heading into the heat chamber, Daniel had his body composition taken, height, weight and body mass. We're going to be getting you to run for 45 minutes um, and every five minutes throughout that 45 minute period uh, we'll be measuring your core temperature, your heart rate and your subjective rating of perceived exertion. So this will be more a way of preparing you for like what would be like a worst case scenario out there and that's always a good approach to take with players or athletes of any description going off to a major competition. <laughs> It's already so hot, sweating more than I would after a 20 minute run, 30 minute run. Can't imagine doing this for 90 minutes. Alright Daniel, <sighs> last stage now, last 5 minutes, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Tired, hot, yeah, sweating, yeah, yeah, yeah. all you're of the You're doing really well, you're doing really well though. Whew. What temperature is it? What temperature is looking good? It's like high 20s, like 28. 28, degrees. 28 is it? Wow. Despite the tough conditions, Daniel still had a message for the England hierarchy. Gareth yeah, Southgate, call me up. <laughs> it's hard. Very hard. Dream on. So after 45 minutes in the heat chamber, how did Daniel find it? Here's his considered verdict. That was very challenging. <laughs> and you lost about a litre in sweat. So what effect could the heat have on the England players' performance in Qatar? When you're in competitive match playing football, yeah, that's another consideration that you have to make. Mm -hmm. The better you can cope with the heat physically, the better you're going to be able to perform mentally, um, and obviously vice versa. If you're really struggling in the heat, obviously your cognitive performance is likely to be impaired at the same time. So it's important that you're able to cope with the heat for both of those reasons, really.